In this video, I'm going to be going through some examples of expanding double brackets with certs. Okay, and they're going to be of varying difficulty here. So, you might want to have a go yourself and then press pause on the video and then see if you got the answers right. So, let's go with number one first. 1 plus root 2 times 3 plus 7 root 2. So, I'm going to do it in stages. I'm going to do the 1 times the 3 first, so that would be 3. Then I'm going to do 1 times 7 root 2, so that's 7 root 2. Then I've got root 2 times 3, so that's 3 root 2. And then I've got root 2 times 7 root 2. A little bit more difficult to think about. I've got root 2 times root 2, which I know is 2, so I've got 7 times 2, which is 14. So, in total, I've got the 3 plus 14 is 17, plus 10 root 2. 7 root 2 plus 3 root 2. Okay? And that would be my finished answer. Let's have a look at the second one. First, I've got 2 times 5, so that'll make 10. Then I'm going to have 2 times minus 2 root 3, so minus 4 root 3. Then I've got 4 root 3 times 5, okay, so that's 20 root 3. And then finally, I've got 4 root 3 times minus 2 root 3. The 4 and the 2 multiply together make 8. The th root 3 times root 3 is 3, so I've got the 8, I've got the 3, multiply them together, I get 24. So it's a minus 24. Okay? If that stage is the most difficult for you, break it down into pieces. Think about 4 root 3 times 2 root 3, and then you can split it up or reorder it. So you've got 4 times 2 times root 3 times root 3. So you're dealing with the integers or the coefficients of the thirds by themselves, and then you've got the thirds alone. So you've got the 8 times 3, which makes the 24. So we've got 10 take away 24 is minus 14, and minus 4 root 3 plus 20 root 3 is 16 root 3. Okay, and that would be my final answer for number 2. Then we've got the last one. First we've got, of all, we've got that 2 times 3, so that makes 6. We've then got two lots of 2 root 2, which is 4 root 2. I've then got 4 root 7 times 3, which will be 12 root 7. And then finally, I've got 4 root 7 times 2 root 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Root 7 times root 2 is root 14. Okay? The 7 times 2 can go inside the square root. So I've got 8 root 14. And that is as far as I can go. I can't simplify that any further, okay? So what's happened here is that it looks unusual because we've got four terms, okay? But it is still correct. It's as far as I can possibly simplify it, okay? So if you got to that answer and you weren't sure if you were right, you got it right. 